And welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3. Ugh, I'm sorry if this all took a bit too long, but I'm also, I was more, you know, focused on getting Sonic Adventure started up and of course a lot of life issues got in the way of this next few parts. That and also the upload of part 9 was delayed. So now we're going to go off to showing off the extra part of the, um, get well, some of the extras and of course getting all the gems. Well, I'm not going to get all the gems on screen because I know a couple are pain to get on screen. Ugh. So I decided to cut them out for the sake of actually getting to the end of the Let's Play. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the time trials of this game. The, the, the rules are, it's simple. You, Crash Bandicoot has to get to the end with a good time in order to get a certain relic, to get a relic. The faster you go, the more chance you get to get a better relic. The Sapphire, which is of course the easiest ones to get. Gold ones, which are really, which are a possibility if you got, if you're good enough at that. And of course we've got the Platinum Relic, which is, in my honest opinion, probably the hardest to get in this game. I bumped out that the relics are, lot, getting the gold and platinum relics are a lot more, you know, you know, easier to get on Crash Team Racing than on the, been on, been in this game. And we got our first on-screen relic. And of course it is a gold. So I'm going to only show off a couple of the, um, of the, of the relics and then I'm going to show you guys one of the game of the box gems as well. So the next one I'm going to do is Boneyard. I'm going to show off some of the relics and see what I do in Ro I've got to get a, a relic in Rogue Crap. Speak it. Um, it's been time trial. Yes, that, that happens if you actually get an Aku Aku. If you have if you have an Aku Aku with one hand and when you actually... Oh, that was a bit of a mistake of mine. Um, when, when you actually have an Aku Aku, um, you're, you won't be able to uh, hold on to him. You, you will lose it the moment you touch the clock, and that was a mistake I just made. Oh my God. Yes, blame me for that. But it's because the cat, but but pr also partly because the camera is a bit too, you know, cannot uh, see your, um, pretty much is a bit too, you know, close to a Crash Bandicoot. And that you can't see where you're going half the time. And which, which, if you're trying to gun for the gold or platinum relics, you'll be seeing that a lot. And I just ignored my Aku Aku. <sighs> also, the only the other thing you can get in order to freeze the clock is time crates. They're leveled one, two, and three in red, in in, well, in yellow. It's pretty much the Neg color negative version of the um, of the TNTs, which of course it's not it's not a TNT. It's of course a, a a time crate, which of course has a number on it. The number you actually the, the time crate number you actually spin across will determine how much time you can freeze. They were brought back on in Crush Team Racing, which is the follow up to this game. Which is the first and only game that uh, spin-off game that is official to the cat. There's a canon to the official series. I'm going to go under that creek because I don't want to get caught in it. That's cost me a bit of time. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to go for getting more time crates because that will only uh, hinder me to getting that gold relic. Oh, we got another. I've got another time crate, that's good. So the only criticism I have with the uh, uh, what, Tricopter Triceratops chase scenes is that the camera is a bit too, you know, fiddly and just fidgety, and it doesn't give you a proper view, which also plagued, which also plagued the snowboard, which was the fact of why I died so many times on the boulder and bear chase levels in the previous game, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Alright, so where are we going next? We're going to Warp Room 2 to get on with the next stage, Tube Time. Now ladies and gentlemen, I am, I haven't got the gems in this le in this level, I haven't got the gem in this level. Well, both the box gem and the, uh, and the bonus gem. 
So, before we do actually decide to uh, get the time trial done in this one, which I'm going to do off screen, I have decided to get both the gems first. Well, better to be safe and... Well, better to actually get the gems out of the way so that we can actually get the good ending of the story. The only way you can get the good ending is to get every relic in this game. Alright, so we've got a checkpoint. And it's, of course, we're going to go... So, obviously, we're going to go off to that um, to mystery mark. Well, the good news is we, I don't have to go through any more death paths because... I don't have to go through any more death paths because we completed all those. I got all the colored gems. Yeah, all right, TNT's time. Right. I am going to go off to a... Oh, God damn it, please. Oh, that, I missed my, some of my bonus fruit. And you know what? Because I want to get to a lot of the gems, and because I've been dying quite a lot, I'm going to try and stockpile as many lives as I ca possibly can. Stupid platforms. Out of my way, chip, you chips. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get this going. Alright, checkpoint. Alright, so now I've got so now I have to get through this part. Oh I don't know why I uh paused there, but I decided to... Well, well, for God's sake, I didn't know there was a spear there because the black ice prevented me from actually predicting it. I have to watch out for those because those are extremely dangerous. Oh, bullshit! That hit, that deliberately hit me, and I did not expect that. I'm not going that way because I need to backtrack. Uh, because the camera can... Oh, for God's sake! Ugh! Oh, damn it, this is... This is just absolute total... Ugh. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, for God's sake, how was I supposed to know that was there? Oh, come on, let's jump cut this, shall we? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the part where I actually um, get through this part. Hopefully, hopefully, no more deaths. I just think... This is, see, this was the reason why I wanted to stockpile lives, is because I just want, because I think getting the gems is just going to be a bit, it's just more, getting the gems in this game is much more, I'm going to be honest with you, but getting the gems in this game is much more painful to go through than, than, the, than the prequel, Sock Crash Bandicoot 2, because, unfortunately, because the level, some of the, trying to get through the gem paths is just completely hard, and trying to get, and it just doesn't absolutely do anything good. Uh, it's because every time I try to get Jeb, I always end up with at least one death or more, depending on what stage it is. Mostly because either the ca I, when backtracking, the camera just doesn't give me a proper view. I just don't understand it. Ugh, this is just oracly distractful. This is just unbelievable. Oh, I need to get those. I need to get those boxes. Come on. Got one. Come on. Yes, got it. Uh, that was painful. Out of my way, Cobra. Right, let's 
Let's wait. Let's wait. There we go. We got the finally at last we got this level's box gem. So I think we've done all the tomb. I think I've done all the tomb levels now. So finally I managed to get all the uh, tomb levels out of the way. The only thing I need to do is to get through the next gem, the next gem path, which is of course in dynamite. So I'm going to load up this, so I'm going to load up the video file and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we're going to dynamite now. Which is of course, which is of course I'm going to get the gem. It's time for me to get to the gem path. Yeah, this is really going to be extremely painful. <sighs> Alright, so the reason why I'm doing, getting the gems is just because unfortunately we can't seem to get the game's ending until we got every gem in the game. Out of my way, you fish. Another checkpoint. Well, that's... Ugh, this is what the yellow jet path is. It's just a case of guessing all the boxes that you previously missed. So now we can. So now we can absolutely. So now we can actually get all the boxes. So I've got. So I don't want to get hit by any uh, crush fish. These fi these fish are just absolutely. Oh. What did I say? Absolutely wrong. Wait till that uh, crate detonate. Wait till that TNT detonates. Oh, there's an extra life there. Come on, I need it. There we go. <sighs> oh, what? There we go. Now, all I had to do was to barely flop it. I can, I can, and I cannot seem to get rid of that steel crate with the fruit bazooka. No, avoid that at all costs. Ah, checkpoint. So now, so now comes what is considered to be the worst part of this. Now here is the worst part of this one. Look, like I said, the camera does not give me a good proper view, and thus deaths can be a plenty. Ah. I don't know how many times I've died so many times in this part. I just don't know. I just can't count. Oh, for God's sake! I just, how was I supposed to know that was there? Ugh, let's try this again. This time I'm not going to use the running because I know this is going to... I'm just going to flunder. But one of those... But no one of those pterodactyls actually takes me to a secret level. We'll be doing that later on. Oh, for God's sake! Really beginning to bug me down. Oh, God damn it! Ah, oh, finally I managed to make it through. Ah, oh, finally I managed to get through this part. Got rid of the nitro. So what is over this? Woo! Oh, low bonus lives. Yes, I think that could make up for the amount of lives that are lost in this part. Uh, so, uh, so now we are back. Now we are back to the main part level and having to backtrack. Now I have to do this to backtrack. It's just gonna. Oh! Oh! <sighs> no, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna skip a bit of portion. So, we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I got to the check. We well, got to a checkpoint now, and now I've got to Baby T. Oh, for God's sake! What? No, no I'm sorry, Baby T. Come back! I can't live without you. Ugh. 
There's a reason why I absolutely despise the backtracking in this in this in this game because of the cameras. Because in Crash Bandicoot, the camera never gives a good proper view, and it's so easy so easy to die. If you ever got an Aku Aku, it's just camera issues. Oh, I found, I found you again, BBT. Oh, you ah, oh, stupid Crash fish. I just want to make sure that I'm back with... Yes, that is the way. But unfortunately, we lost Baby T in the process. <sighs> Camera screws me over so many times. I'm so really annoyed. This was also a problem with the jet ski levels. Especially, especially with the jet ski levels, the stupid camera just screwed me over those with those with those segments as I could not see the bombs nor the nitros nor any enemies that's how much I'm really annoyed with the uh, so extremely annoyed with the camera issues although I'm not saying the game's bad or anything uh, yeah, yes it's a master it's a masterpiece and probably the pinnacle of the Crash Bandicoot series will be one of the best 90 one of the best 1990s franchises on the PlayStation it's just the camera is just so awkward I'm not going to say it again, it again because I know I'm going to sound like a broken record. Alright, so finally we get to this stage's bonus bonus part. So now I can absolutely finally... So I can finally get all the boxes. I've got, I think I've got all the boxes in the gem area so that I can now get the box gem. I think that's a real necessity. In, right, in terms of my Sonic Adventure, now I'm going to go off into the uh, gossip right now, but in, my, in terms of my Sonic Adventure LP, I've done all of Sonic Story, and once I've done the commentary for Sonic Story and done this LP, I could do ta I'm going to record Tales of Story. Why? Because I've got a lot of um, I've got a lot of video footage recorded on my Ava Media. What did? Oh, for God's sake! Just get rid of the amount of uh, videos that I got on saved on there already accumulated been a more you know super word for it so that I can fight so I can get on with the next parts of the of the of the Sonic Adventure let's play and do Tales of Story. After that I'll be doing Knuckles and I'm gonna do it in order of what I choose. I'm gonna do Biggs last because I know I hate that story. Uh, finally we got the gem after so many painful attempts. But we're not done with dynamite yet because I got two gems because I, although I got two gems I got a uh, Easter egg to show off and for those who do aren't in the know yes I was so lucky I although I died a few times trying to get that relic I actually managed to get a platinum relic on the first full run of the um, of the of the time trial in uh, in this stage it's quite an achievement to do it on the first try well but how many times I died but the uh, Easter egg that I'm about to show off is actually in the uh, gem route which is going to be extremely painful because I know the cap because of well you get the hint I'm not going to get any more boxes because I've already done the gem part I don't have to necessarily do it again so let's go off to the spot the gem pop again. Alright, I need to get rid of those crush seals. I think I call them crush seals because I know because they always flutter about. Oh for God's sake! You just gobble me up! <laughs> How the hell could they be called crash when Look, they look like Crash Bandicoot. They all look like fish. And those scientists aren't really that. Um, and that noise, meaning that there's something that prowls Crash underneath you. Alright. Uh, 
All right, so honestly though, even though I actually think this game is probably a masterpiece of the, of the, one of the big masterpieces of the PlayStation 3 library, the PlayStation library, there are some, I still do have some issues like backtracking, camera, and of course a few uh, stages like the jet ski stages, which is, oh, what the heck? This crash just got burned, got failed by the, um, the conveyor. But the momentum, oh, for God's sake. Get to this stage right now. On you. Oh, I uh, just got propelled by a by a freaking pterodactyl. But wait a minute! Special stage. Right, entry time trial. Get baby T out and let's go. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is of course one of the two uh, hidden levels of the game, Agapus Rex. Which is pretty much uh, a pun on Tyrosaurus, Tyrosaurus Rex. This uh, bot, of course, involves Baby T quite a lot, and of course, avoid, and of course, avoid both geysers and pterodactyls. However, unlike Crash's animator, where he gets carried away by a pterodactyl, if he hits a pterodactyl, he will turn into an a into his normal death animation that was used since Crash 2, his angel animation. Take your time. Oh, for God's sake! Let's try this again. Yeah. So, so, so the, so the thing, so the thing about this is, of course, you can actually do uh, two of your, so you can actually do two uh, things at the same time because this is pretty much a linear level, by the way. You can do both the time trial and, of course, get this stage's gem, which is, of course, obtainable at the end of the stage before you get to the warp. Get, take, get, back, get to the warp off, which takes you back to the warp room. Well, time twister machine. Jump, baby T. Jump. Jump. One. Wee. One, one, one. Get up. Oh, I clipped through him. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time before I do a jump cut. So you know I don't want to show off the rest of the depths and see how badly I play. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> Skipping time now. Uh, I decided to skip the uh, that section because I just can't be bothered to show it off. But finally I got the gem, I got to the edge and I got the the relic. But it's a sapphire one. I think it would be it was easier if I would use Baby T because it would have got me either a, a, a gold or platinum. Because I haven't got the skill to get platinum, I just don't think I'm gonna focus on the relics. I'm just gonna get getting the gold relics. I'm just gonna focus on getting all the gems in this LP. All right, with that being done, I'm finally finished with this part. Thank God. <clears throat> oh no, no high time. Ugh. Scratch you idiot. Okay, we're gonna end it right there. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next part for when I take on the the, the another hidden level and I go through few, and I go through some of the hidden stage some of the bonus stages that can be accessed with relics. So we'll see you in part eleven of the Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. No, Crash Bandicoot 3.